بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ٹیکنیکلی ایکسپلینڈ ان دس ویڈیو وی ول لرن ہاؤ ٹو پلاٹ گین ورسز فریکوینسی پلاٹ ان ڈی ایس ٹی مائکرو ویو اسٹوڈیو سو ٹو پلاٹ گین ورسز فریکوینسی پلاٹ دا فرسٹ اسٹیپ از ٹو گو ٹو دا فیلڈ مانیٹرس از یو کین ہیو اے لوک آئی ہیو دی فل فیلڈ مانیٹرس ہیئر وچ از ایم ٹی آئی کین ایڈ نیو فیلڈ مانیٹر سو یو کین آلسو ایڈ دا فیلڈ مانیٹر فرام ہیئر In the simulation tab, you can add the field monitor here. Both are the one and the same thing. So I am going to click here and I am going to click new field monitor. When I have new field monitor, I need to select this far field slash RCS. When I select this far field slash RCS, I need to click on this transient broadband. When I click on this transient broadband, I need to click on apply. When I click on apply, I need to click on OK and then I need to go to my simulation and start my simulation. So now the simulation has started. I am going to stop my video here and then I am going to again resume it when simulation ends. Now the simulation is complete. Now what I need to do is go to this post processing and click on result templates. When I click on result templates, this type of window is going to appear. Make sure that you have far field and antenna properties at the top. If you don't have, select the far field and antenna property. And in the downward tab, select far field result. When you select far field result, this type of window is going to open. Now, in the, in, when this type of window is open, you need to click on all settings. When you click on all set settings, this window is going to pop up. First, You need to click on browse monitors and select far field broadband. You need to click OK. Now we have far field broadband here. Then you need to select this broadband because you want the gain versus frequency plot which is a broadband plot. The frequency the gain is not to be evaluated at a single frequency it needs to be evaluated at the broadband frequency. So you need to click on broadband plot and then you need to click on 3D. After clicking on 3D, you need to come here in the far field settings and click on gain IEEE. When you are done uh, uh, clicking on gain IEEE, you just need to click OK. And then you need to click on evaluate here. As you can have a look, this gain 3D will appear. Now you, when you click on evaluate, this is going to simulate. When this gets simulated, this is going to be simulated within half a minute or a minute. So now the CST is calculating the far field plot. And then, and now the CST has completed the far field plot so I can close it here. And now as you can have a look, this is my gain versus frequency plot. I have plotted the gain versus the frequency. The frequency ranges from 20 to 40 gigahertz and the gain is from two to nine gigahertz. And I can check this out in the 1D results and in the 1D results I am going to have this gain IEEE gain versus frequency and I can change the properties of this plot for example if I right click on it I have this plot properties I can change the properties of this plot by giving it a different range for example from uh, 30 to 40 gigahertz or whatever similarly I can change the range of the y axis as well so let me change the gain to the 30 to 40 gigahertz and click OK. So the axis range has been changed to 30 to 40 gigahertz. So you can change the plot properties if you want to, but that's how we can plot the gain versus frequency plot in CST Microwave Studio. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Technically Explained. Thank you.